Hey guys, I'm Bonfoot and Red Dead Redemption 2 came out October 26th of last year and for someone like me who loves Rockstar and is obsessed with westerns, as I'm sure you can tell, it is beyond a great game. I was lost in Arthur Morgan's world for a full month going on my second playthrough until suddenly Rockstar dropped Red Dead Online on November 27th, at which point I transferred my obsession over to that. Now, Red Dead Online is still in beta and was released with a pretty limited amount of content, but that didn't stop me from sinking over 400 hours on it as of the beginning of February, which was when I stopped spending nearly all of my free time every single day playing it. I had a lot of wild adventures during those two months and I thought it would be a waste to not make a video about them. We're gonna start off with a bunch of silly clips I have from playing the game with my friends, and after those I'm gonna sit down and together we're gonna watch my PS4 recordings, which is where all the proper gameplay highlights, glitches and other crazy moments are from the hundreds of hours I played alone. Before we can begin though, I need to introduce you guys to someone. You see, in Red Dead Online your first task is to make your own western character, and what I created is easily my favorite self-created character ever. Let me introduce you guys to Chill. Jill is a sweet elderly woman with a heart of gold. She has a husband named Harry, and together they've seen and done it all. What the hell kind of crazy <laughs> business is this? <laughs> Get off that fucking mountain, you goddamn horse! Get over here, you goddamn dumbass horse. You fucked me for the last time. I'm on the trail, <laughs> god damn it! How do I punch my horse? <laughs> He's gone. No! No! <laughs> he knows what you're gonna do. <laughs> Get back here! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Harry? You're gonna fall. Okay. <laughs> there we <you> go. <laughs> <laughs> During her many adventures, Jill has carried the term an unknown number of children, who in turn have given her lots of grandchildren, all of them bearing the same name, Billy. Hello, oh. Billy. Oh, Grandma, you're here. What are you doing here? <laughs> I thought I'd Whoa. take a moment. Don't fall off, Grandma, not like last lantern. time. I can't see. Grandma, it's midday. Oh, that's a beautiful, beautiful landscape. It is, girl. It is. Who's that? That's my other Billy. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> Hello, Billy Spurs. <laughs> Jill loves her grandkids dearly and is always down to spend some wholesome family time with them. Isn't this nice? Yes, Grandma. <laughs> nice little wildlife outing. Oregano. 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 Your oregano. Grandma! <laughs> it's Don't mine! Pick my butt! Pick it. Another ginseng. It's okay, nice. you came out of my butt. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> ginseng. Makes here. perfect sense. Ginseng. Let's my fault. Grandma, we're not playing poker yet. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> we're, we're playing dominoes. I'm okay. Oh! Could use a pillow or two. Haven't been on a ride like this since me and Harry's honeymoon. Syl does have a wild side though, and when she lets it take over her, things can get a little hairy for anyone around her. This crude behavior has unfortunately rubbed off on her grandkids as well. I'm eating a gingerbread man. I already decapitated his hat. Now I'm gonna take out his life. What the fuck? I hate you. I'm gonna try jumping it, see if we make it. Yeah, you'll make it, Billy. Okay, Grandma, I trust you. Oh God, Grandma, I didn't make it. Oh, I thought you were tougher than that. <laughs> Are we sneaking? Oh, three of them. Wait, right this guy will walk away. Let me pull out my knife. Let me pull out my lantern. I want to pull out my dick. <laughs> Fuck. It was coming. <laughs> Did you know it was coming? I'm sorry. That that what that was that was the name of my god. Okay. <laughs> There was this one particularly bad incident that happened at Emerald Ranch that really put the family name in negative light with the locals and the law enforcement. There, okay. I'm in the back, Grandma. <laughs> Let's... <laughs> Let's all get in and Billy will drive. Where am I going? <laughs> Wherever you want, Billy. I don't know where to go. <laughs> Just... Go fast! Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, Billy? No, watch for the ox! Another sheep! through all the fucking fences. Fucking rats is ruined. Oh, oh. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> the axe! The axe! <laughs> you killed it! Okay. It's fine. It's fine. He's alive. Oh god! <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking dead. Billy. She loves her family very much, but unfortunately, 90% of the time they're just not around, so she has to ride alone. Let's switch things up and go check out what she gets up to on her solo adventures. God damn it. Okay, let's get to it. If you're not familiar with this, the PlayStation 4 has this feature. It has this share button on the controller. When you're playing a game, you can press the share button and choose to save a video file 
of the last 15 minutes of your gameplay. So basically all these clips are just from me playing Red Dead Online, minding my own business, and whenever something interesting happens, something funny or some crazy gameplay moment or a glitch, I would save the video and make a highlight out of it. We have a lot of clips to watch, so let's start. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember this clip. Um, one of my favorite things to do in Red Dead Online is just to go to a populated town and just walk around, see what all the people are up to and keep an eye on them because eventually some asshole is gonna try to kill you and then I try to kill them first before they're able to kill me. I guess anti-griefing is the fast way of explaining it. I'm just minding my own business with my lantern in the middle of the night and then that guy takes out their weapon and boom 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 <laughs> I waste them. And I like this moment because that guy is his posse member and he's just like Wait, what the fuck just happened? I wasn't gonna kill him if he didn't do anything. He wasn't the one being aggressive, his posse member is the one who started shooting at me. Then he just looks and thinks what he should do. And then he makes the wrong decision. He starts shooting at me, so I kill him as well. And then I'm gone. Okay, I think this is a another clip of me just doing my favorite activity. Just strolling through town. I love the walk cycle. Just keeping tabs on everyone around me. Ready to pull my weapons if someone does the same. Okay, who's this guy? Oh, <laughs> of course. You made a bad mistake. <laughs> oh god. I'm dual wielding two semi-automatic pistols because the fire rate on those when shot from the hip is insane. It's like... <laughs> you can basically shoot as rapidly as you can click the R2 button, so I'm like... <laughs> it's awesome. Okay, looks like this is right after the previous clip. There's still the body I killed. Oh. <laughs> okay, another one bites the dust. <laughs> I like this one because... That guy was just coming towards me, he had his bow in his hand, and the second he puts his arrow on the bow, I just fucking waste him. I wasn't gonna take the risk. Okay, now we're... I think this is somewhere north of Rhodes. Just going all up. I see someone on the minimap. <laughs> this is actually my tactic. Whenever I see someone coming towards me on the minimap, I get off my horse, get behind it, and take my weapons out. Horses are great portable walls when you have nothing else to hide behind. So let's see what this guy does. Oh, start shooting. So I go behind the trees. Not sure. <laughs> and I waste him. Jesus. I'm not sure how he was able to shoot me. I guess bullets go through the trees. I'm not actually sure about that. Okay. Looks like I'm hunting. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I remember that. That was the first and only time that has ever happened to me. I just freaking tackled the horse. Granny doesn't know her own strength sometimes. <laughs> Another clip of me just walking into town where there's a bunch of shooting going on. I really recommend people do this. It really is fun. You're just calmly walking into the <laughs> eye of the storm and you have to really be aware of your surroundings and just the second someone shows any aggression towards you, just waste them. <laughs> it's a really fun activity. <laughs> so let's see what happens here. Okay. Couple people around, just keeping tabs on all the spots on the minimap. Oh, there's someone coming towards me. Get behind the horse, and he's aiming at me, so I shoot him. <laughs> I guess I should mention that I never actively kill people in free roam. <laughs> Granny is an honorable person, she only kills people who try to kill her. 
Oh yeah, this clip. So this is the scenario. Some asshole once again has just killed me for no reason in black water. So I spawned in this place and he's coming towards me. And I don't know if this is a glitch that's about to happen. At first I even speculated that it was possibly some sort of exploit, but I'm pretty sure it's just a glitch. So he's in the camp there. I hide behind my horse. <laughs> and boom. I kill him. And then look at the minimap. He instantly respawns right where I killed him. And he's back, and I kill him again. And he's dead. And look at the minimap. Boom. He respawns right away. Same exact spot once again. And I retreat. I'm like, fuck this. <laughs> this has actually happened to me a couple of different occasions where people spawn right where I kill them. I'm not sure what that's about. But it's bullshit. <laughs> I'm just taking a stroll on my wagon oh yeah oh my god i love this one so i just come across these two people and i'm, I'm like what the hell are they doing and i realize they're trying to load up their big fish into that little wagon so i'm like i'm gonna take a closer look give them a wave they wave back <laughs> they have a whole operation going on they already have like four or five fish in the wagon but they keep glitching out of it I don't it's obviously not an intended thing to carry those fish in a wagon after looking at them for a while failing to get that one fish in the wagon I decide to try to give them a hand maybe I can maybe I can do it even though I've never done it before <laughs> but I just wanted to help so I give it a go Hop in the wagon and drop it. There. I was able to do it. Then after a while, they still had one fish that I they couldn't really get into the wagon. So they decided to put it on my horse. They trusted me with one of their fish. I move my wagon away so they can get out of there. And then we start our ride towards the Blackwater Butcher. So they can sell their fish. <laughs> we had to go slow so the... Uh, fish didn't glitch out of the wagon and fast forward a little bit we get to Blackwater thankfully there was no one there to bother us but I was constantly on the way I was ready to defend our payload against anyone so I take the fish off my horse and give it to them it's their fish I was just happy to help but then you can see the guy in the black outfit He's not moving. He's actually sending me a message on PSN. I actually remember the message. It just said, for you. And then once he sent the message, he came up to me with one of the fish and gave it to me as a thank you. And I thought that was nice. Those fish are actually really good money. $7.25. That's a lot in Red Dead Online. So that was nice. A little wholesome tale. I randomly come across these two fishermen, help them out go on this journey with them and in turn they show their gratitude and reward me with a fish <laughs> I like that that's actually one of my favorite moments from all of my Red Dead Online adventures so wholesome <laughs> oh yeah this clip and pop. <laughs> okay Hanging out with some strangers in bar in Valentine. My favorite bar. Oh. <laughs> and... <laughs> nice. Oh, I love this clip. It's so good. <laughs> and then I take his body and put it on the bar counter. <laughs> As is tradition. I remember this clip was when I had just figured out how overpowered Deadeye is in Red Dead Online. So basically what happens here, this guy strolls him, I'm like, okay, he's got his weapon out, he's probably gonna do something. And the second he aims his weapon at me, I activate my Deadeye. And basically what that does, because I have this slow and steady ability card, it makes me very resistant to bullets. And it even makes it so headshots don't kill you outright. 
<laughs> so this guy shoots me one, two, three, four, five times. <laughs> All the while, I just casually take out my tomahawk and <laughs> throw it at his chest. So from this clip onward, you'll pretty much always see me activate Dead Eye the second I see anyone being even a little bit suspicious, because then they'll have a lot harder time killing me. <laughs> okay, <laughs> looks like I'm running away from a hostile posse. Oh shit, there's four of them. See what happens. There's one down. Two down. Three and four. <laughs> and I also got rank 60. Nice. A little cherry on top. And then I escape. Ain't no sense in going against four people. When you're alone. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh god. This was so good. This is actually a continuation of the previous clip. That posse is still after me and I retreated into this house. And now I'm just looking on the minimap. Two of them are still after me. They've surrounded me. And now they come inside the house at the same time. So I decide to throw a dynamite. And boom. Both of them died. That was so fucking satisfying. And I continue my escape. Looks <laughs> like I'm doing some hunting again. Looks like there's... I have a posse member. Oh! <laughs> yes! Oh god. <laughs> this was one of the worst collisions I had had with horses. It's my husband Harry. <laughs> <laughs> and both of our horses fucking died. <laughs> and I did this goddamn crazy pirouette in the air. Like, choo choo choo. <laughs> Brutal. Oh yeah, I remember this. I saw this guy on the minimap being on the corner and I was like, that's suspicious. Is he, like, gonna try to shoot me? He comes out, runs towards me. I'm ready to shoot. But nope. He's friendly, waves at me, the universal sign of peace. And then he starts talking on mic and invites me to a beer. So we go into the bar and have some beer. And once we're done drinking, he challenges me into a, a brawl. So we just have a friendly fist fight out on the street. But here we go. Let's see how the brawl ends. We're both running low on HP. Oh. Only need a couple more shots. Both of we, both of us would go down. We're finding a little more cautiously. And boom! <laughs> Ooh, I love the ragdoll when someone gets knocked out. So freaking satisfying. Boom! Granny gets the knockout. <laughs> oh! Oh, oh, this clip. So fucking good. So satisfying. Um, but let me give a little background. A pretty basic situation. Some asshole in town came and killed me for no reason. And then suddenly his whole posse came after me. I think there was like six people in that posse and they were just killing people in town. So at this point they had been hunting me down for like, I don't know, 10-15 minutes. Mostly me killing them, but I think they got me like two or three times. And at this point, I had spawned a little ways away from them and I noticed, I looked in the map and they had gone after some other person. So suddenly I found myself behind them and I was gonna take advantage of this situation. Let's see what happens. They're right behind them. They're all right there. And boom! <laughs> oh my god. So fucking good. I have fucking dynamite arrows. Boom, boom. Four. Five. Six. They're all dead. <laughs> They're all fucking dead. Oh my god. And then I just ride away. That was like the most satisfying thing that ever happened to me in this game. My freaking Rambo moment. I kill every single one of them <laughs> with a dynamite arrow. And they just go fucking flying. Boom. 
just one after the other. Boom, boom, bodies flying, huge explosions. They can't do shit. Riding my horse in Valentine. Nope. <laughs> okay. Uh, sometimes, the, sometimes the horses in this game can be a little derpy. <laughs> Fucking launches me at the window. Okay, what's going on? Oh, oh yeah. I think this is our first big glitch video. <laughs> my horse was invisible. All you can see are all the reins and the saddle. <laughs> but yeah, I guess there's not much to say about that. Just an invisible horse. Oh, once again doing my favorite activity. <laughs> Let's see how it goes down. Some dude is running up to me. Uh, he looks like Conan O'Brien. Waving at me, so it's. Oh! It was just a ruse! <laughs> he was faking it. He's not friendly. It's a brawl. Boom! <laughs> uh, that <laughs> dramatic knockout. Oh, yeah! <laughs> That's why I saved the clip. That's funny. That guy is his posse member. <laughs> He's like, yep, I'm not gonna defend my posse member. He He's the one who initiated this. Attack. Good on you for knocking him out. <laughs> Once again in Valentine. It's easily my favorite town to be at in online. There's just everything you need is around there. Oh. Suspicious people. <laughs> Putting on my dead eye prematurely because they act weird. And <laughs> <laughs> uh, fucking dynamite arrows, so good. Okay, riding my horse. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, God, Jesus. Oh, <laughs> no, oh, that's bad. I get disconnected <laughs> right away. I've not been having a good experience with the Rockstar servers. I get disconnected like every five to ten minutes. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, I bet if I had a counter for the whole 400 hours I've played, I must have disconnected, like, at least five times an hour. So I've probably disconnected, like, 2,000 times. A lot of people wouldn't tolerate that, but I'm fucking obsessed with Westerns and I love this game, so I have to tolerate it. It's either tolerate it or don't play the game. And for me, not playing the game is not an option. I've switched between wireless and wired connection, I've done port forwarding, I've set my PS4 connection to DMS, whatever that is on the router. I've tried all kinds of possible fixes, but nope, nothing has worked, unfortunately. Okay, I'm in Valentine. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, it looks like... <laughs> I was having a fight with that guy. That was a satisfying fucking shot. Boom! Headshot and it goes fucking flying. <laughs> nice. Here you actually see in my latest outfit that I've made for Jill. She looks a lot younger in this outfit. <laughs> it's my fancy yellow and purple. Oh! <laughs> yes! Oh my god, this is that clip. <laughs> the fucking bird! Uh, I love it. Sometimes you see these birds that have their animation locked up, just stationary and flying around. I love how it just slides on the ground. It's fucking amazing. Okay, looks like I'm in a posse. It's a random dude. Oh yeah, I remember this. So. This is actually one of my other favorite activities to do in Red Dead Online. There's this option in the online menu, um, Posse Up, which basically automatically puts you in an open posse. It just picks a random posse and puts you in it. So I do that a lot. I just join random posses and then just help them with whatever they do. Usually they're just doing some missions or 
maybe battling another posse in some town and I help them out with that. It's a lot of fun, you never know where the game will put you and what's going on. So this is one of those occasions. I'm in this random posse and I'm just, I think we're just riding to the next mission at this point. And this random guy comes up to us and I'm like, okay, whatever, let's just ride past him. But then my posse members start shooting at them and I'm like, fuck that, it's not cool. I'm leaving the posse and <laughs> I shoot him in the face. <laughs> That's what happens if you're in my posse and you just randomly kill innocent people. I'm gonna teach you a lesson. A bullet in the face. <laughs> oh yeah, oh my god, I love this clip. Check it out. He lassos me and... Boom! <laughs> I got fucking flying in the air. Oh god. <laughs> On, right on my stomach, on the freaking stair rails, and I <laughs> shoot him with a shotgun. Uh, it's probably one of the best clips I have. I've seen this glitch happen to other people online a couple of times, but then it happened to me and it was fucking amazing. This guy tries to lasso me, I cut the lasso with my rope and boom, I just shoot in the air. And even at that moment when I'm flying in air, I'm still just thinking that I need to kill this guy. So I take out my shotgun and I actually try to see if I'm able to shoot him while I'm in air. But obviously that's not possible. So I end up just <laughs> flopping around, doing a perfect fucking landing right on my stomach on the railing. And then I shoot him. So fucking good. And then I casually go down the stairs in my badass outfit. I'm all muddy from being dragged on the ground. Oh god, yes! Oh, this clip. I was just minding my own business, going to the bar in Valentine, and suddenly my horse appears inside the fucking bar. And he's just floating around in the middle of the thing, like upstairs. And when I go to it, I'm able to hop on board and ride around on it. And this was... Another one of my bigger glitz things that happened. <laughs> so weird. Okay, we're getting to the end here. Only three more clips. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember this. I just found this guy who was acting friendly. We found this wagon, I went on the back of it. And he started riding it. And immediately at this point I realized that we were close to the edge of the cliff. So I knew what he was gonna do. But I was like, I'm gonna see what happens. <laughs> this is interesting. Woo! <laughs> oh my god. It's so good. We landed on this friggin' little ledge. Right off the cliff. <laughs> so the horses and him fell off the cliff. But I was left on this ledge alive. So good. Okay, we're in Armadilla. Oh. <laughs> yes. Uh... This is another little glitch clip. There's this random cabinet just floating around in the air. I've come across this a couple of times where there's just a random piece of furniture floating in the air. But this was funny because I accidentally rode into it and it friggin' clotheslined me. And then we have the last clip. We're just goofing off with a wagon and I go, Whee! Woohoo! <laughs> That was a good flight. I went far. But yeah, that was that. Those were all my Red Dead Online PS4 recordings. I hope you guys got some entertainment out of this. I had so many of these little highlight clips. And like I said in the beginning, I thought it would have been a huge waste to not do anything with them. And these were the fruits of my labor from playing the game for 400 hours. The whole online component of the game is still very bare bones. There isn't that much structured things to do. You sort of have to find your own fun in the game. And I certainly did that. Anti-griefing and joining random posses and helping them with whatever they're doing were two of my favorite things to do throughout the whole thing. But a big part of the enjoyment for me is just the fact that it's a western. The world is incredible. It's so detailed. I just love spending time in it. The deserts, the towns, the old saloons. 
and then all the old timey guns, <laughs> revolvers, repeaters. I just love all that shit. <laughs> but now I'm definitely ready to just take a break from it all, wait for them to actually release it out of beta and add in some cool new features. I'll definitely be back then. It's time for me to go. Thanks for watching. Check this out. This is my <laughs> VTA t-shirt that's on backwards so you don't see the <laughs> freaking picture. And my goddamn rifle is inside my shirt because I don't actually have the <laughs> freaking thing to actually have it on my back. So I just put it inside my shirt and and put this thing on my belt so it doesn't drop and then it was just sticking out like that. That's what you gotta do sometimes.